In this illustration, we intend uh, to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the shear wall connected to beams only in the Abacus software. As you observe in the picture, the model is composed of plate, beam, column, and stiffening box. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied uh, to the top of the shear wall and then the respective hysteresis diagram is drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been drawn. As you observe, in this picture, there is no connection between the plate and the columns, and the plate has only been connected to the beam. Uh, in this question, the beams and columns have been connected together using hinges and the places of hinges have been marked out with circles. In this picture, the formation of the shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading can be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in Abacus software. The article is entitled Behavior of Semi-Supported Steel Shear Walls Experimental and Numerical Simulation. Also, in this picture, the hysteresis diagram drawn from the experimental sample can be observed. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend uh, to create a geometric shape of plate. I will select the modeling space as uh, 3D. From here, select deformable, shell, and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 2000 and continue. I will draw a rectangle. The length of the plate is equal to 500 millimeters and its width is equal to 460 millimeters. Click on create material. Here I want to define the properties of beam and column. I will click on general menu, then on density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. Young modulus is equal to 200,000 megapascal. I will click on mechanical menu, then on plasticity and plastic. Yield stress is equal to 240 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 360 megapascal. To calculate plastic strain, uh, you will only need to subtract ultimate strain from yield strain.
I will make a copy of this material and name that plate. I will click on edit. In this question, the thickness of plate is equal to 0.5 millimeters. The properties of which can be observed here. Yield stress is equal to 138.15 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 280.8 megapascal. I will go to step module, click on step manager, then on replace. Here I will select the uh, dynamic implicit analysis. The analysis will be done in non-linear form. Here I will select quasi-static. Time period is equal to 48 seconds. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. Here, the horizontal axis is displacement and the vertical axis is force. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output and continue. I will select all reaction forces. Click on save as, then add all them up together. Here, select Displacement and click on Save As. In the next step, I will click on Create XY Data, then 
on operate on XY data and continue. I will select combine first, select displacement directed at Z axis, then select total force and click on save as. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram of the model. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. The diagram having been drawn in blue is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results gained from the Abacus uh, software are very close to the experimental results. And this indicates that this question has been simulated correctly in the Abacus software. Actually, they are slightly different from the results mentioned in the article.